Hello and welcome to ABA Made Easy. I'm Mauricio and today we're going to do a day in the life of a child neurologist. So as some of you might know, I used to be a behavioral technician for two years. Then I got my board certification and became a board certified assistant behavior analyst. Worked in that field for three years in Miami and the Bay Area. And then after that, I decided to go to medical school. The reason I did that is because I loved working with this patient population, um, mostly kids with autism. And a lot of them also had epilepsy and I wanted to do a little bit more for managing their care and advocate for that patient population. So that's what pushed me to go into medical school. And once I heard child neurology was a field, then I was really intrigued and I chased that. And now I'm five years into my child neurology training, about to graduate, epilepsy next year, and then I'll be in attending. So it's been a long road. I know some of you in the comments are actually interested in going into medical school. So I wanted to give you guys a glimpse into how a day in the life of a child neurology fellow is like. So let's go ahead and see how it's like. Good morning, everyone. Today is my last day on service as a pediatric neurology fellow. So I thought I'd bring you along, show you what a typical day is like in case you're interested in the field. I woke up around 5.50 in the morning, um, got sign out from the resident that was on overnight, chart reviewed, head to work. I just parked. Um, I'm gonna go see the patients. We have three new patients, the service has eight right now, which is about average, and we'll go from there. So I just saw our patients. We have an interesting list today. We have an infant with concern for first-time seizure. We have someone with a possible demyelinating etiology. We have a few headaches that we're managing, and we're follow up, following up on a few patients uh, with possible neuromuscular etiology. Um, this morning, we have Neurocutaneous Clinic. We do this once a month where we focus on neurofibromatosis type 1 2, uh, tuberous sclerosis, Sturge Weber, basically any etiology that affects the ectoderm, so skin and brain. Very interesting clinic. It's run by uh, Dr. Dalby and Dr. Duberstein. And that's once a month. It really varies what we do every day depending on the day. Some mornings uh, we have a lecture, we have lecture with neuromuscular, sometimes we have case conference where someone from adult neurology and someone from pediatric neurology present the case. And then other days um, we don't have much in the morning and then in the afternoon we do something called book rounds where we talk uh, with the chief on service about different cases and we get to know these patients a little bit more and this is more to follow up on patients that have been discharged and see what we could learn from each case so excited for neurocutaneous clinic this morning all right so we're in clinic right now let's go around and say hi to everyone this is sarah one of the other child neurology fellows Hello. fourth year we got emma she's our rotating student we got Shiv, one of our rotating adult Hi. neurology colleagues. And then we have Jin over here. Uh, she's another adult neurology colleague and she'll be joining me for epilepsy next year, which is awesome. All right, Shiv wants to say something. Okay. <laughs> so Mauricio is the worst colleague to work with. <laughs> no, just kidding. He's amazing. He's the best right. I have worked with. Actually. He's the best senior. <laughs> I love him. So. At the end of every rotation, I actually hand out Pokemon cards to everyone. So this one is for Eugene, oh, you, Jin, since you like Mewtwo. Oh, thank you. That's your favorite. Oh, this one's for you. Actually, oh, no, no, I'm the worst. I, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Here you go. You get Psyduck. He's going oh. to probably <laughs> headache. So thank that you. Pokemon gets a lot of headaches. Ooh, <laughs> and you'll get Mimikyu. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished Neurocutaneous Clinic. This is the resident room. Um, there's a new consult that just came in. Um, so it seems like it's functional versus neurologic. So we'll see what that's about. Uh, and yeah, we just see the consults as they come in and then touch base with the attendings about the cases. And that's what we do for the rest of the afternoon today. 
So the rest of the day um, was not too bad. We had a few consoles come in, um, discussed one with my attending, just to be sure we're on the same page with the plan. And it is five o'clock now, so I'll get signed out from what's going on on the other campuses and I'll be on call from home, meaning if they have any concerns or new consults, they'll call me overnight from the hospitals that we cover. Um, and then in the morning, I just sign out to whoever's covering the service and go from there. So that was a typical day in fourth and fifth year as a child neuro fellow, but child neurology uh, residency, it's a combined residency fellowship. It's called a categorical program. The first two years you learn general pediatrics. The third year you learn adult neurology and the last two years are pediatric neurology. Some programs split it off a little bit differently as to when you start each one, um, but that's the general way that programs are organized. So that was an in-service block that I just showed you. There's also different electives that we go through. You can go um, learn a little bit of EEG and epilepsy. You can learn neuromuscular, EMG. Um, you can learn neuroimmunology, psychiatry. So you learn a bunch of different things. I'm interested in neurodevelopment and epilepsy, so I tailor my electives around that mostly. Um, but you get to learn a broad range of neurology. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any questions at all about pursuing a field in child neurology, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Um, or if you have any other video suggestions, I'm happy to hear them. Have a great one. Bye.